Hello there, everybody. How's it going? I hope you're all doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matt Tomato, and welcome to a brand new Transport Fever playthrough here. We're just going to play a simple free game, nice and chill, nice and relaxed. As the title suggests, we're going to go with the French theme, so we're going to go with French place names. We're going to have a few French uh, assets as well uh, going on here. Uh, as per usual, it seems to me that we play Transport Fever around about the Christmas time, so uh, once again, here we are. Um, uh, Christmas hats and everything like that. Uh, Merry Christmas if you are watching at Christmas time. Uh, if you're watching in July, then that's kind of weird. Anyway, we're just going to do a free game here, um, and yeah, we're just going to chill out, relax, we're going to go, yeah, we've got some nice assets here, so I'm going to go with a small map, nice and flat, easy, uh, I'm going to start in 1990, uh, let's randomise, I don't know if that one will do, and just to show you some of the stuff we've got here, so I've got French place names, all European themed, things like that, uh, because we're playing on a small map, I doubt we'll use Concorde, but I have got Concorde nonetheless, uh, I've got some French signals, I've got some French buses, these aren't available till about 2005, so we might upgrade to those as we go along here. Uh, I've also got some French trains, I've got the SNCF Class Z and a couple of TGVs, um, so there's already TGVs in the game, but I've got the duplex one, which is the double decker, and that might be quite interesting to use. And TGV La Poste is a, a freight TGV, which is quite interesting, so I wonder whether maybe we'll get to use that at some point, not entirely sure. Um, Depends on the kind of map, I suppose, and what kind of spawn set we get and how uh, how this actually goes. But here we go then. So, uh, it's been a while since I've actually played Transport Fever. I haven't played a lot of it on my channel, which is why I wanted to go for another little playthrough here. Uh, at some point, I'd like to do like a really large map and a big, massive gameplay at some point. Um, obviously, we did that stream as well, um, which was really, really good. So, I did a, did a stream. Uh, we built quite a decent map then, actually. I thought we did quite well with that. But uh, let's see what kind of spawn set we get here. Okay, so here we are. Um, so what uh, places have we got here? Die. Okay. <laughs> die. Um, I think I might rename that. Uh, I'm not going to call that die. Um, I'm going to call that uh, Digne les Bains, which is a place on the south coast. Uh, Digne les Bains. I'm going to call it that. What else we got? Uh, we got Chateau Thierry. Okay, uh, that's quite tucked away in the hills over there. That's fairly interesting. Okay, we've got uh, Donge over this way. Towards the south. And we've got uh, Moissac. Okay. Uh, Trevoux. 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 Yeah, Trevoux. Okay. And then to the north we have uh, Ebans and Bompas. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so um, there's actually a number of large hills here. So I'm looking at this. There's a very big set of hills here um, and subsequently over this way as well. So uh, what I'm thinking immediately is a similar structure to what we've done before where we use the town in the middle as the, uh, like the hub and uh, run some trains uh, in and around um, depending on what's what. So um, if we look at sizes here... So Trevoux is actually the biggest town anyway, although there's not actually that much people. Uh, sometimes you get uh, spawns where you get towns that have got like 600 people in. Um, so actually it might be quite difficult to generate some passenger traffic fairly early on. Um, but yeah, what I think, maybe we could run a train from Trevoux, Digne les Bains to Chateau Thierry. We'll have a train that shuttles its way down to Donge over here. A little local one that cuts across over here to Moissac, although that's a bit of a nasty hill, so that might be quite difficult uh, and then another couple that go up here to Abans and subsequently Bompas. Uh, potentially run a bus between the two, not entirely sure. Uh, we'll have to see. Moissac, yeah, very, yeah, very interesting map, actually. Uh, very difficult, um, difficult spawn set. Um, so what about industries, then? Um, so we've got a farm here, farm here, we've got some oil. Um, there's a food processor all the way at the top here. Which is not ideal. Uh, oil, on the other hand, uh, we could haul train. We could do train haul oil up to here, produce some fuel, and get that into Trevoux. Uh, and there wouldn't be too many train tracks that would uh, inhibit that. Although we'd have to consider the fact that there would be passenger trains coming. Yeah, that's a problem. So we might have to build passenger traffic over here. Although, ah, yes, the industries are on this side. That's actually brilliant. So I think the passenger traffic for Trevoux will have to be on this side and we'll go up that way, this way. That's going to be a bit awkward. Um, and then we can build a freight train that comes across here, oil, fuel, and the uh, the industries in Trevoux will subsequently want, um, they want a bit of fuel. So we could maybe uh, start, so we could start with that. That's true. 
could be a good opener. Uh, of course, if I had Industry Tycoon, I would probably be placing some industries in and around here. There's also some oil up here, uh, but I think that would crisscross traffic. We could maybe haul it by lorry, uh, but that's quite a long way, uh, so that's not ideal. Yikes. Yeah, uh, not much in the way of industry, uh, but that's definitely a thing. We could do that. Um, but in all honesty, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I'm going to start with passenger traffic here. And then we'll get a passenger line going and then at some point we might expand out into the industry. Uh, I think maybe that's what we'll do. So if we get a passenger line to start with. So what are the three biggest players? Trevu, Abans and Bompass. So actually starting to the north up here would actually appear to be a better start because these are more populated places. Um... And considering that the distance isn't all that far between these ones either. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, actually. So, uh, we're going to need, so, one, two, three, five trains. Okay. We may be able to make uh, one one or two trains share a platform. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to open up with trains here. And I'm going to go with four tracks, lovely and big as well. And um, I'm going to open up with a nice big station here. Um Let's build it like there, for instance. So let's open up with a lovely station, nice and big there. And uh, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll start by running a track to the north here to Abans and another track over to Bomb Pass. Um, and I might just get two trains that run between the two here. So one between here and one between there. And that's a very expensive start, uh, but it will generate interconnecting traffic straight away. Which is kind of nice. So let's uh, let's have a look. What do we? Hmm. Oh, I forgot to make this uh, high speed, which is a bit dumb. Okay, right. Uh, so Trevu. So let's run track that does that, and we'll run that up to there. And then we'll go from here as well, up to there like that. And I'm thinking that we may create a... Uh, I was thinking about creating a train depot that maybe covers all of these areas. So let's go double track up there. And we'll create a train depot up this way. So here's what we're going to do here. Um, so we will merge that in here. Uh, right, this could be real fun, actually. Um, okay. So merge that in there as well. This track following over here like this. So we've got a merger there. So this initially looks very, very busy, but... Actually, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, just trying to make sure that these don't merge too close together here. So then we have a track that joins in here. Uh, this will subsequently head in that direction. Like that. And then I'll just have like a depot just up here. So then that can actually service every single track. So we can have one depot for everything, uh, which I think will be better. Uh, we'll save ourselves some money then. We don't have to build multiple depots. Yeah, so let's put in a depot there. Okay, excellent. So that, that can now s service every single piece of track. Uh, and we subsequently need to put in a signal here uh, to make sure that... Um, so we've got the French signals here. Um, so this is obviously the regular signal. So we need to make sure that it's on the right-hand side here. Uh, hmm... Uh, actually, it looks like it follows... See, this is interesting because... Oh, no, it is that way. Yeah, it follows the one on the right-hand side. That's true. No, I'm, I'm being silly. So this is the one for that side. And this is the one for that side. Right, okay. So chuck that in there. So there we go. So trains will wait there. Good. Um, and then subsequently, I don't think I need to... Because the only reason any other train is going to come up this way, is to go to the depot. And I'm quite happy to just have them wait 
uh, here. Unless, of course, yeah, so... I'll have them just wait at the station until they're ready to go here. Uh, I think what I will do, though... We'll have to figure out which line... So when we create the route, we'll figure out which line it actually chooses. Yeah, it may end up accidentally merging here. Which is less than ideal. Because it might end up picking random station here. So we'll see which one it actually chooses when it comes to the route mapping here. Right, okay, so... We now want to head up towards Bompass. So, uh... Drive this across here. Uh, where... I think we want the terminus roughly right in the middle. Um... Which could be interesting. So I think actually what I need to do now is uh, I need to create a bridge here. So I'm going to need to pause and subsequently um, bulldoze this. Have this running through there like that. And then we need to rebuild the road. There we go. Something like that will do. Cool. Okay. Um... We're going to then obviously need to build another bridge somewhere over here. That's a bit expensive because we did dig it into the hill there. Don't need to pause for that though because it's only a uh, only a local local road. So it only it only whinges if you uh, if you break a road that connects two cities, uh, and a city finds itself uh, no longer able to. Really? Don't even need to build that bridge, to be honest. We're not going to use the uh, the quarry, but it doesn't matter. Okay, right. So, Bomb Pass then needs a uh, train station. So, we need to go with an end track. We just need the one here, I think. And we'll build it. See, to be fair, we could build it somewhere a little bit out of town. Because then that would justify uh, the use of buses. And at the end of the day, we want to make more money. So, yeah, let's build it a little bit out of town. Lovely. Okay, so that's our first route. Excellent. And then we will then connect a, uh, a second route uh, going this way. Um, hmm. Now the question is... Yeah, see, this is a problem. Um, this will be expensive because we're digging through the hill. Whereas it may actually be cheaper to simply cross the river here. Albeit at a difficult angle. Yeah, see, it cost 392 to do that, but it cost me 400 to get it to here. So in the end, it doesn't make much difference. But I think we wanted to cross the river anyway, because we needed to head this way. Uh, right, okay. That's a little bit pricey, but it's okay. And uh, we wanted to head this way over to Abans anyway, so... Made sense. Again, I think I'm going to try and uh, put the station like fairly sort of towards the outskirts here. And the reason for that, again, is so that we can justify a bus service. Even though it would be, you know, more judicious to make, you know, so that people could walk. Like if you're built, playing the city skylines, for example, you would want people to be able to walk places. But in this situation, we want people to use our public transport to make money. So uh, we, we want people to be... Uh, Right, to be using our public services. Right, um, I think I'm going to... Really? Can I not do that? That sucks. Because um, we almost need a place for... Yeah, buses here. Um, okay, let's do that. And then uh, I think what we can then do is we can then drive it out here. Um, so if we grab a small street. Like this. There we are. And that's a place for the bus to turn around and come out here. Brilliant. Okay, right. So now that we've got that set up, I think I'm actually going to set up the bus service first because then that will generate some passengers early on and then we'll get the train set up. So let's start with the bus service. So uh, we'll get a, a road depot. Actually, um, we could go trams.
I think Trevu should be a bus. But I feel like we could go trams. I think we'll start with buses, though. Let's start with buses. Okay, but I think we will possibly potentially use trams as we uh, as we go forward here. There might be... Oh, really? I was hoping to be able to ram this in somewhere in here. Actually, I can... Can't put that here. I can put that there, though. Great. Okay, excellent. So, uh, let's grab the bus stop. So, uh, I want to be able to put one here and one here. Now, the uh, the reason for that is I have an unload stop, and then the bus will turn around, come around here, and then can offload. Okay, got to remember this is right-hand traffic as well, uh, which is less than ideal, because uh, I'm British, so I find right-hand traffic quite difficult to deal with. Um and then put that there. So there's literally just five stops currently. But as this place expands, which it will, uh, we will uh, we will end up having to change this around. And when, when the place grows, we might try to uh, inter introduce some um, introduce some trams. Okay, so line number one is going to be uh, Abans. Uh, I'll stick with the yellow. Screw it. Uh, oops. Uh, no. I think I clicked the wrong bus stop there. Ah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so two... Three, four, uh, there we go. Uh, Pont Royal, Royal Bridge. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's interesting. And we'll just have one bus uh, just running around. So we've got several buses here. We could go with this older older one that can haul 16 passengers. I think even though it's a bit more expensive, it can haul more passengers. And over time, I think it's going to be more efficient to use this one. So I'm going to start by using just the one... Um, sort of out bus here that's got the extra bit on it and yeah we'll just uh, just start running that around and uh just start moving some people around here at the very least what we'll get is we'll have residences people over here that will get on and go over here maybe and stop over this way for the industries for example um speaking of industries i feel like we should connect these streets here I don't know whether that bus stop will really serve that area or not. Not sure. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll develop by itself. Maybe it'll eventually connect up in some stupid way. Uh, but yeah, let's just start running a bus around there. Uh, I think we'll do the same in Travu and the same in uh, Bompas. And then we'll run the train afterwards. So in terms of... Uh, hmm, Travu is a bit more difficult. And I think it might be a longer route, actually. So I'm going to build some roads here. So we'll run the bus around here, up this way. And then I'm going to join this bit in there. And then we'll come around there. Uh, I think it's worth doing this, actually, as well. Yeah, let's build a few roads there. Of course, the, everything will build around it as well, which is really nice. Um, so that, that will be great. Uh, so we'll go with the road depot. Uh, let's shove this uh, somewhere in the middle. It doesn't matter too much. Um, it, well, it does, but it also doesn't. Okay, so again, we'll have a, a getting on stop and a getting off stop. Uh, I'll run a bus to there. Uh, I will put a stop in over here uh, that because that's going to subsequently develop that area. Um, we'll have a stop over. Uh, hmm. We'll have a stop over there because this is going to build up as well. I feel like it. Uh, then we'll have a stop somewhere over this way, and then one over there on that side. So although the center area isn't quite covered, in general there's enough reach that someone will get on somewhere. And what we could do is we could complement this with a tram later on. We could run an up, a tram that goes up and down here, for example, and just turns around and comes back. We could just do a backwards and forwards tram or something like that. And as the as the place develops, so we could have a tram running through the middle and then maybe the bus that runs around the outside or something like that. So we'll see whether we, we can uh, complement uh, passenger traffic here. I'll go with yellow here as well. Uh, so all of the bus lines are going to be uh, yellow. Because that was the colour it chose. Okay, there, 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 and there. Oh, I did forget to set the uh, the other one. Yes, okay, offload only. I did forget to set that. Okay, this, uh, this will probably need more buses as we go along. And purely because this is a longer route, 
Uh, this is going to need a hell of a lot more buses. I think this might eventually need up to three buses. Um, so we'll we'll revisit that as we go along here. Um, yes, I did forget to su select. Um, so we need a miles. So the fifth stop at Pont Royal is offload only. Okay, so people get off here, and then obviously they can walk to the train station. The bus will turn around, and then people who leave the train station can get on here. Could be a nightmare in the fact they've all got across the road, but it's one of those things. Good. Okay, right. And then the final thing we want to do is we want to set up two trains. Um, so we're going to go uh, with two lines here. Uh, so we could go green. So I want to go from Trevu up to Bompass. Which uh, line did it select? It selected that one. Okay. Uh, which is okay. So let's go Trevu Bompass. Uh, in which case, I will place a uh, signal here. So that's what it chose. Um, I'm being stupid. That's in track. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll place a signal here. So that uh, if... Yeah, if, if need be, the train will need to wait there. Um, for another train to move, uh, so that will be okay. We'll place a signal there just to just to be sure. Good. Okay. Right. So we need to release a. We need to get a train for that route. So what do we got? Uh, obviously, we can't afford these super expensive ones here. Uh, yeah. So the as you see, these can haul freight and things like that. We've also got the duplex. The uh, that's the TGV duplex here. Um, we can't afford the expensive ones. I'm half tempted by this though. Uh, which has a capacity of 99 already and costs 13 million. But I think we could probably go with something a bit cheaper for now anyway, because this is a fairly short route. We could probably go something a bit cheaper and then upgrade later. See, that can't haul very much though. This maybe... 9 million, but it's not much cheaper. That's the thing. Although, if we went with, say, um, this train and then bought three coaches, that would be. Oh no, that would be six. Yeah, okay. I think I will do that. I'm going to go with this train here. Uh, make sure it's green. So we'll purchase that. And then we'll pick up. Uh, I think we'll start with two coaches. So it's a little bit cheaper to run. And we'll go and run that on the Trevu Bompass line. It's a little bit cheaper. And as it gets more and more busy, we will run uh, more higher capacity trains. Okay, right. But I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, so that's it for now. So cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matthew Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. And join me next time for more Transport Fever and our French-themed game here. Thank you very much.